So the first person I got to train with is John Meadows. And if you don't know John, he's a legend in the bodybuilding community. Uh, he told me he did his first show when he was 13, and he's had a ton of success with uh, clients and also himself uh, on the pro circuit. And he's just got literally decades of experience. Drive it up or down, squeeze. <sighs> Two more. Come on. One, one more time. <sighs> Come on. Drive it down. Drive it down. There we go. Good. So what is this contraction? <laughs> We're gonna put it over our head. We're gonna do broad running, broad jump, I mean, long I wouldn't, jump, high jumps. I wouldn't rule it out with you. <laughs> I really wouldn't. A lot of people think that training with John is just like a complete butt blood bath. Like it's just throwing whatever at the wall and seeing what sticks. It's actually not the way it is, having trained with him. It's actually much more well thought through. What we're going to do is we're going to work our way up slowly. So we'll have some volume, but there's only going to be one set that's really, really difficult. Okay. So yeah. we'll just work up to that. So you get a little bit more blood each set, a little bit more blood, nothing really to failure. But then once we get to that weight where it's, we're going to be shooting for around eight reps. Okay. And then once we get up to where it's a really tough eight, that's when we kick in that really, really hard set. And that one set is, it's, it's enough, man. All right, let's get it. <clears throat> come on, three more. <sighs> Two more, come on, go, go, go. One more time, one more time. There we go, okay, stay in there, stay in there. Okay, eight more. Eight more, there we go. One more. One more. Okay, now little partials, little partials, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now hold it, now hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and good job. Good job. That was that was fun, man. Good <laughs> so the main thing I learned from John is that it's actually really important to work hard, but to work hard in a methodical way. So I would describe this as appropriately applied effort. We know we need to apply effort, maximize progress, but we need to do it at the appropriate time and in the appropriate way. My friends and stuff were asking me like how was the workout, like how much did it hurt? And even though it was like it was probably one of the more challenging leg workouts I've ever done, but psychologically the reason you can get through it is because of the approach John takes, which is basically all the sets leading up to that last one are not all out sets. So they're kind of like preparing you for that one set. And then mentally you know all you've got to do is give your all on that one set so it's bearable. If you had to do that on say like five straight sets for every exercise, you would just burn out psychologically, or I would anyway. Um, so that was what made it actually like enjoyable is because you're like building up to this one final set and then you just got to go in that like get it mentality and then um, it's, it's more bearable that way, right? Why is training hard important? Uh, I would say work ethic really matters for sports success in general. Obviously, there are genetic differences that determine how well people do at different sports. But I would say, with equal genetic footing, what separates champions from, say, like third place, probably work ethic. Five, right, come on, let me work with you. Let me work with you. Uh, come on, three more. One, two, three. Now hold it right there. Hold it right there. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. Four, three. Two and done. Uh, yeah. Good. Oh man, that's the hardest set I've ever done in my life. Oh, yeah, baby. I think there's an effort threshold that you need to cross in order to maximize growth. I think this is kind of just common sense. Like, if you're not trying hard at all, then you're not going to be able to maximize growth. I didn't quite get A, but that's okay. I mean, yeah. That was fun. So John has a really cool way of doing this. I haven't really seen it much shared, if at all, anywhere else, at least not in the way he does it. He has like this four phase sequence of how he structures his exercises during training. So he starts with an activator exercise. So the goal here, the main goal is injury prevention. He does this to kind of get blood flowing to the joint, get the muscles nice and loosened up. This is usually some kind of machine, so like a chest press, for example. Um, after that, he'll do a main compound movement. So this is like the main tension stuff. So like, say an incline barbell press. Lower rep work here. 
Um, also, still leaving a few reps in the tank. Uh, all right. After that, you'll do the pump phase. So this is this is the real failure stuff. This is what everybody kind of focuses on. And this is when you'll do, say, drop sets, accentuate negatives, iso holds, all the fun stuff, you know, in the videos. Oh, nice. That's it. Any more one? Nice work. <laughs> and after that will be the stretch phase. This is what it finishes with. And I think this is also really smart. So it makes sense to put that at the end. Also, finishing with a stretch exercise feels really good. After a chest day, doing dumbbells with really strong stretch at the bottom, or like even an ISO hold at the bottom, I think it's a really good way to finish things off. Oh, oh man. So first of all, you're doing a pretty damn good job, man. That's pretty good. There's a couple things though. Yeah. I want you to stand right here and I want you to watch my shoulders. Okay. Okay. Watch this. Now watch this. Oh yeah. Now watch this. Now watch this. Oh yeah, okay. When you start coming down here on your wrist, watch what's happening to my shoulders. What's going on with my it's shoulders? It's coming in, it's coming forward. They're closing yeah. you up. So if you want to look big and voluminous, get your hand here. All the way in. Against your, side, against your side. Now lift your chest, drop it down a little bit. You just made yourself look a lot thicker. Anyway, are we, you want to grab food or? Yeah. Yeah? No, yeah, man. I'm going to return to the food. Yeah? We've got to refuel. Kiwi dog. I like it. Yeah. That's the new nickname. You know Kiwi what, dog. man? I used to always talk about kiwi like seven or eight years ago. We used to tell people about the vitamin C and how it was underrated. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> did we just become best friends? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I like to think of myself as the best poker playing bodybuilder, so Jeff has a, an opportunity to take that title take away that from me. Which game do you jump in? You see me? Uh, Ten. Alright. Yeah, uh, you guys can put in your blinds, but I'm going all in. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing. We're all in? Yeah. I'm all in too. Clubs, seven, clubs, seven. clubs. Oh. Boom! Give me a oh. 10. 10 or clubs? Seven. Clubs. Okay, one more seven. Two more clubs. Ooh, ouch for me. One more seven. I need one a time. ten. Ooh, I need a ten. I need a Come ten. Come on, diamond, 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 diamond. Yes! No! Oh, my kidney, not the river king. I told you. Still. It was fun. Still. Bodybuilding. <laughs> Bodybuilding poker player. <laughs>